Good morning, Raleigh Katz, Marin Association of uh, Public Employees. First, I would note, as the previous speaker alluded to, you are the taxpayers' representatives, uh, not a committee of certain people who have a certain perspective on these matters. Secondly, I hardly look at this as a groundswell. I hear all of these agencies in primarily in Orange County. I hope Marin County is not looking to Orange County as the place to establish uh, good public policy. Um, third, in terms of litigation, uh, there will be litigation. There already is litigation, as noted. But I would point out that you already, we already work under a statutory scheme that addresses these issues. One, we have the myers millis brown Act, establishes the collect how we do collective bargaining, assigned by that notorious labor agitator champion of working people, Ronald Reagan, when he was governor. And that has a whole scheme of how we go about doing bargaining, and it is done in the public interest in a manner that you as the elected officials delegate certain responsibility to your folks who come back and report to you, and that resolution is ultimately reported to the public and approved by you in, in a public meeting. Secondly, we have the Brown Act that addresses issues of public disclosures. So I would submit, notwithstanding the temporary limited nature of the challenge in Orange County, this whole scheme runs afoul of existing statutory uh, schemes and is subject and fraught to, to uh, litigation, which you should not, I think, take on now before it's not resolved in other places. Lastly, there is a quantum leap in faith from those who spoke about the results of this. I'm very disturbed that somebody finds it a good result that people go three years without pay raises and pay more for their health care. I find that outrageous in this time. A office assistant three in Marin County now pays more of his or her salary for health care every month than he or she did five years ago. And that's somebody making less than it, you can live a sustainable life in this county. So let's understand the real motivation of the people advocating this. They don't give a damn whether working people make a decent salary. They don't give a damn whether working people have a pension and have health care. And their idea of a successful negotiation is to strip that away from people in the name of saving taxpayers' money. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Ken Martin. We're in professional firefighters. Uh, we represent all of the organized fire departments in Marin County. And I stand today to support my brothers and sisters of SEIU, of the De Deputy Sheriff's Association, and all the other organized labor groups within Marin County. I'm amazed to listen to this stuff. I represent a group that pays 75% of their health care. They work for a city that only pays $500 a month in health care. But these people want you to believe that they're being paid $2,000, $3,000 additionally every month for their health care. In 2012, PEPRA was passed. There are no more retirement changes coming. There are no more increased benefits. The limit as to what an employee pays has now been established. The limit in what the government will pay has now been established. All I've heard today was a proposal to spend more money on another professional organizer, another professional negotiator, to spend more money to look at what the county accounting staff comes up with real numbers. And probably what ticks me off the most is that apparently you all owe me a kickback because I'm a labor group leader. And because maybe we put our name on your support just as they do on another candidate, because you win, I'm supposedly getting some kind of a kickback? I haven't seen that yet. I don't see that in membership that pays 75% of their health care. I don't see that in membership that pays large numbers in their retirement costs where we're picking up 50% of the cost. Today they're the CSPP. Tomorrow, your next meeting, they'll be the housing, the affordable housing people that are opposed to it so that they can make sure they keep their lily white, Marin, lily white. They don't want the people who, can, who can't afford to live here to ever encroach. They don't want the kids who come over from Richmond in volunteer programs to be, ever be able to afford a house here or a job. They're disgusting and it's disappointing. Thank you. 